This is for Year 12 Specialist. It comes out of 7G. It's question 8. The antiderivative after we've turned um, this fraction into partial fractions. Okay, I'm going to write these as three separate fractions. So I've got um, 5 eighths tenths of 1 on x minus 4 plus minus 5x on top of 18 x squared plus 2 minus 20 over 18 x squared plus 2. Um, 2 goes into that 10 times into that 9 times. This one is going to be a logarithm. This one I'm going to have the derivative of the bottom, which will be 2x, and I can do that up here. And this one I'm going to turn into an inverse tan. It's going to go three separate integrals. So, if this is going to be an inverse tan, let's have a little play over here. I'm going to have minus 10 on 9 times 1 on x squared plus 2. I want a on top of x squared plus a squared. So if 2 is going to be a squared, I want root 2 at the top. Therefore, I need a root 2 down here, which means I'm going to have negative 10 root 2 on top of 9 times 2, which is negative 5 root 2 on 9 times root 2 over x squared plus 2. So, that's okay for that one. So, I'm going to have minus 5 root 2 on 9, root 2 on top of x squared plus 2. For this one here, I need to have at the top 2x. So, I'm going to have minus 5 over 36 times 2x on top of x squared plus 2. The minus 5 comes out the front there. I needed a 2, so therefore I need to divide by 2. And that's going to be plus 5 on 18 times 1 on x minus 4. So now I'm going to antiderivative with respect to x. And that's going to give me 5 on 18 log base e or modulus of x minus 4 minus 5 on 36 I've got x squared plus 2 with its derivative on the top so it's going to be log base e of x squared plus 2 and this is going to be minus 5 root 2 on 9 inverse tan of x on root 2, which will be root 2x on 2, plus some constant c. And that's the antiderivative.